Good defense and points off transition were big in NBC's victory against Williamswood University. In the opening minutes, junior Brad Hamilton made his presence known from long range after knocking down a few early three-pointers. Hamilton accounted for three of the first four buckets the team had, giving the Vikings an early one-point lead. Valley dominated the paint with and without the ball, which gave the Vikings high percentage shots and either led the team to an extra possession or a pair of free throws. Head coach Chad Lance said that this year's team is focused on scoring outside of just playing good offense. Every possession you just can't grind it out on the offensive end. You've got to be able to create some, some easy scoring opportunities for you. And those hustle points, whether they're getting hands on loose balls and offensive rebounds, um, really help you in that area. On offense, Valley managed to score inside and out thanks to some good ball movement and offensive rebounds. The Vikings finished with 36 points in the paint, giving them a 12-point advantage from inside. Despite William Woods shooting both a better field goal and three-point percentage, MVC made up for it with 20 offensive boards compared to 13 by their opponent. Valley was able to outshoot their opponent by nearly 20 shots after some good hustle and extra possessions on offense. Hamilton led all scorers with 25 points and shot 6 for 13 from long range. Head coach Chan Lance talked about Hamilton's ability to shoot from anywhere on the court. He's one of those kids that's got unlimited range. He can really stretch the defense, so you really got to be able to honor him. MVC led by as many as 17 points in the first half, but the Vikings found itself back in a close game after William Woods came out firing from deep, cutting the lead to just a few points. The Vikings rallied together with the coach's confidence behind them. Lance said that he was impressed with his team's ability to keep fighting throughout the half. Well, you know, the hats off to our guys. Um, that was that was solely them out there on the floor. Um, I've told a lot of people this year our team has tons of character, and um, you know we've had teams in the past that may have gotten frustrated with how things were going or or with themselves. And I was really proud of our group that we was able to persevere and stay together. And the game stayed close for the remainder of the half, but Valley started to pull away after a big play by junior Andre Scott, who finished a good drive towards the rim after getting the foul. Hamilton closed the door for any comeback attempt after making a big time three with less than two minutes on the clock. Valley finished strong on both sides of the court, giving William Woods its first loss of the year. This is Phil Fowler reporting with Viking Views.